Hey guys, it's me Delta One here with Airsoft Talk. And I have a really big unboxing for you today. This is just an Airsoft unboxing. As always, I can't tell you where I got it from. Um, due to, yeah, you know why. Um, well, it's a big unboxing, so let's get it started. Going to awful fast forward this. As always, family knife, hand it down to me. Was shipped through UPS. Of course, it took forever. It took like... I think it was like five days, and that's really slow, because if it was FedEx, it would probably have only taken three days. Oh my lord. Uh, okay. Today I won't need my knife again. Probably will. Cardboard. More cardboard. A lot of this cardboard. Anything in this cardboard? Evidently not. More cardboard. More cardboard. Cardboard, cardboard, what the heck is this? Is this just a random box? No, this is a... No, there's a box within a box. I don't know what that is. Open that up later. Okay, first up we have a gun. We'll open that up, but first let's just get everything out. Hopefully this video won't be too obnoxiously long. I'm trying to make this as quick as I can. More cardboard, more cardboard. And uh, we have a, another gun. We have another gun that is not really packaged. Doesn't tell me what it is. See what that is later. And there's nothing else in the box. One ginormous box. Get that off the table. Get that off the side. Okay. So let's see what's in here. Small little box. I did order some parts, so I'm pretty sure this is what this is. But I didn't think they put it in a box this big. And that's exactly what this is. We have a G36 gearbox. Here we go. Came with some packaging, packaging. Good stuff. So we have that. Put that off to the side. And we have a gun here. I'm kind of suspicious. I think they missed, they didn't get it right because it should say RWS. I don't think this is the right one. Find out in a sec. Give me a good AK. It is nice. Wow, that front side is obnoxiously needs to be toned down. Way up there. Ah, oh, D-Boys makes a great AK. Man, that front side cross adjuster flying around somewhere in here. Apparently not. The laminated wood. We'll find out if this is a full steel model later. Take a magnet to it. This is the RK03 model. Like my D-Boys AKs. Next gun, it's, it's the RK06 from D-Boys, I believe. 
just got my knife sharpened, so it is nice and sharp. D-Boys redid their packaging to get stuff through customs. So don't freak out if your D-Boys comes in a different box. It just means it's an older version, I think. This D-Boys looks fantastic. Let me just show you when you open it up out of the box. It's too far away from the camera. I apologize. Oh, man. This just looks fantastic. Stock's a little wobbly, nothing you can fix with a screwdriver. Wow. That is amazing. That is just... I own the actual clone. I actually own a VSC, the actual one that's copied off of. I must say, they did an actual really good job. The only thing different that I can tell is the finishing and the actual wood furniture is a little bit of a different finish. Um, I must say, D-Boys, good job. Wow. Put this back in the box D-Boys did. Guess I may as well show you real quick. D-Boys redid their packaging when they did that in order to get to your stuff. It's a little bit more of a pain for me in doing videos. But their stuff is actually right here. They have a little like cardboard indent. It's actually better for packaging purposes. But I just want to state that uh, the sling is actually really good. The sling is actually trustworthy for once that comes with your gun. It's really nice. I do like that. And as on Airsoft Talk, I can say what I want. D-Boys mags are terrible, in my opinion. They are awful. I would just throw them away. <laughs> Uh, in my opinion. It depends. You can use them. You can do what you will with them. I don't like them. Uh, and of, of course, you got your standard trickle chargers and stuff like that. Just suck. But I'm going to put this back in the box and edit this part out and show you me opening up the new one. So we have our next one, which is a very small one at that, and I must say, really small. Um, the RKO-1 WS, which means it is a steel version for sure. Um, this is the 74U. Pull this one out of the box. Make sure we have it on the right side. Don't want to pull it out upside down. Man, this thing is a pain in the butt to get out of the box. Don't want to rip the box open or anything like that. Go into the box. Get a little air in there so you can actually open this thing up. Air moving in there. Actually, help. Quite surprised. Oh! That's what I'm talking about. The direct clone of my favorite company, VFC, if I can get it out of the box. Oh, I love that sound of styrofoam. snowing again oh I love my qualms of BFC BFC makes such great designs now to be honest if you're looking for a 74U buy this because it's a lot easier to work on because you have the hole in the bag and the 74U is good. Now D-Boys may not have as good as internals as SEMA, but uh, upgrading is just so much better in my opinion on these things. And man, this thing is nice. I don't want to, I may not sell this, I may keep this for myself. It's so small too. Nah. Man, I could do wield these things. Man, and the lock, the pin on this thing, that's great. That's fantastic. Top cover doesn't, there's a little wobble in it, a little wobble in hand guards, but it's nothing I can't get over. Oh, it's great. Comes with this thing, is this a 9.6 battery? 
It is a 9.6 battery, I think. 650 milliamp, that can't be right. Oh no, it's charge at 650 milliamp. That's a 1200 milliamp. Well, that's awesome. D-Boys is great. So this has been an unboxing of a bunch of AKs, so to say. So guys, I hope you like this. I'm going to be doing a lot more unboxing. So every time I get stuff, I'm going to be doing an unboxing on this channel, trying to get some more subscribers. So guys, hope you like these videos, and thanks for watching, and subscribe, and all that good stuff. And, yeah. So, thanks for watching, and I really suck at ending videos. And sorry if my camera shaked throughout the whole thing. It's because the stabilization crap on it sucks. So, yeah. Thanks for watching.